So this one's going to be about the royal court, the courtiers, the people behind the scenes, the regular folks who keep the royals on schedule, tell them what they need to do, and sneak in their opinions. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
could be where some of the uh, struggle comes into play where these people uh, may be leaking and it, what is leaking they may be leaking with permission from their bosses uh, to the press about how to manipulate the images of the folks that they are serving it seems to me so we'll see how this uh, little reading goes and here we are so we're going to use another kind of ancient uh, looking uh, deck, the Visconti Sforza Tarachi deck. And uh, it just seems to me that the subject of uh, being the courtiers that have been around forever and um, have kind of an, it, it, the subject itself has kind of an ancient, um, I don't know, feel. So uh, it seems to me these cards and the cards that we used uh, yesterday uh, were appropriate for that. But uh, the idea being, um, in my mind, uh, that uh, the courtiers, the folks who advise the king and the queen and uh, Prince uh, William and Princess uh, Kate, you know, th th those folks at the upper echelon level and then the people who serve those courtiers, uh, the secretaries who get things typed up, the messengers who get things done from place to place, the uh, researchers who would look for information, um, the managers of their time, the managers of their images. Um, it seems to me that those people and then the layer under those people. So if you have a boss who's in direct contact with the king, probably he has two or three or four people under him who are managing all the information that he needs to get to present to the king. And those folks, depending on the level of uh, job that they have, may have two or three people who supply them with help and information. And I think that is the layer, um, that second or third layer of courtier uh, may be where some of this manipulation comes into play. And you know, uh, and what's and what for? Why are they manipulating? Well, people get jealous in their jobs, and they want to find out. Or, or sometimes you develop a a dislike for someone that you work for, or um, or you develop uh, an unusual uh, loyalty that makes you think, uh, well, I can I can gain my boss some some favorable uh, image by leaking uh, unfavorable. Uh, information of people who are giving him trouble. So I, I in my mind, it's those that second and third layer of courtiers where some of this manipulation may be coming from. And not to say that that first layer doesn't have something to do with it too. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is kind of dig into those layers in this reading. But first, before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, the courtiers. Yeah, that's where we've got some issues, I'm pretty sure. But we'll let the cards uh, see if they tell us a story. First question I'm going to have is um, I'm going to find ask the cards in just one card each whether significant problems that are affecting this uh, Charles and Camilla situation are coming from the first, the second, or the third level, we'll put it like that, of courtiers. And uh, we'll do one at a time. So the problems that they're having with the image of Charles and Harry and William, is that, uh, is that manipulation? Is there manipulation from the courtiers? Let's start right there. Let's find out. Is there manipulation from any of the courtiers? One card. Okay, so here we have a page of wands. Okay, so, and you see the wand is right here. This is the page. And so a wand is an action, a plan, and a forward movement. So my question was, is, um, is, is there manipulation from any of the levels of courtiers? And I get a page. And a page would be a courtier, as a matter of fact. You know, the person who brings an idea to the court. 
And uh, so this is uh, uh, kind of tells us that, yeah, there is a little bit, uh, a page's worth of value to some of that happening. Interesting. So, yeah, this would be to me uh, saying that, yeah, it's coming from, there is something coming from the court. Okay. A little uh, hint of that right here. Next question I want to have is, is, is it coming from the first layer, the second layer, or the third layer? Okay, so is the, is the interference, is the leaking, is the manipulation of the king's image to the detriment of, uh, of the relationship between Harry and Meghan and uh, William and Kate and Charles and Camilla, is that coming from the first level of courtiers, primarily? One card. Wow. So here we get a, a Nine of Cups. And uh, this is uh, pretty significant. The Nine of Cups is um, kind of wishes fulfilled. All right. If this was the only card I drew, which it is the only card I'm going to draw, this is a yes card. And so wishes being fulfilled. So from the first level of courtiers, their job is to sort of make sure that the wishes of their king, because we're talking about King Charles's courtiers at this point, if, if, if his, that his wishes are fulfilled, which kind of lends us to think that Charles is looking for some of that manipulation. Let's do one more card to say, is Charles looking for some of that manipulation from that first level of courtiers? One card. Okay, so this is the chariot. And um, I think uh, this is also going to be a yes card for us. And uh, if you, in case you can't see it, um, this is the um, the monarch, really, because this is a crowned person riding uh, that chariot, uh, moving things forward, uh, wanting to move things forward rapidly. So I would say that, yeah, I would say that Charles is trying to manage that image through uh, his first level of courtiers, which was completely to be expected. That's what you would do. You want to manage your image through your trusted uh, courtiers. Let's put these away. But that still didn't really get a satisfactory answer because I want to know from that first level of courtiers, is that a management of the image uh, directed by King Charles, is it intended to be specifically detrimental to the Sussexes. Ah, so we ended up with three cards that fell out of the pack, so to speak. They wanted to be left behind, so I'm going to use them. Um, the manipulation of image on the knowledge of King Charles through his first level of courtiers to the detriment of the Sussexes. Is that the, uh, is that the intention? First card for that. Okay, so this is the Empress, okay? So this card is rich in, um, in, 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 in making things happen, in, in tending to the, to the health of, of a body of people, let's say. Second card for that question then is the lover's card. And so this is finding a perfect pairing. And the third level, the third card for that is uh, the sun shining a light. So this uh, card here, if, if this were the devil card, I would say that, yeah, it, it's meant to be um, detrimental. But I think this being the first card up is telling us no, that this um, Empress or maybe even Pope S is, is looking to um, find a favorable light for the king in regard to the Sussexes. And the second card here, being the lover's card, just reaffirms that they're looking for a perfect pairing uh, to get this message out. And then the third uh, card really could, uh, reaffirms that the sun being shown is that, yeah, they're wanting to shine a light on some specific aspect of that, but to a, not a detrimental uh, um, a purpose. So that would be no, as far as is it to the detriment, of, is it the intention to be to the detriment of the Sussexes? Uh, no, it's not. So the king is directing his first level of courtiers 
to get the message out to improve that image according to the cards and uh, and he is involved in the manipulation of that image perfectly what you would expect as a matter of fact that's not a bad thing that's what you would expect uh, a king or someone in his level to do trying to manage his image for this first level of courtiers and the cards are telling us that it's not uh, in a detrimental way that's not but now let's go to the second level of courtiers and the ones that uh, weren't named in the little intro and that we don't know really know who they are somebody does i don't uh, but let's say the second level of courtiers the advisors to the top level of courtiers or the helpers to the top level of courtiers is is their detriment coming from that level towards the sussexes one card <clears throat> well what we get here is a knight and this is the Knight of Cups. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the cup right here. This is compassion, emotion. The Knight's coming in on a horse. He's going to fight for the royal court. So this second level of courtiers is, is seems to be in line with the first the orders to the first level of courtiers to fight for some sort of compassion. Okay. So I'm going to say that the second level of courtiers isn't necessarily presenting the problem. Let's go to the third level of courtiers. So these are the helpers to the helpers. These are the folks who make the least, have the least uh, respect in that group. They're the really the worker bees. Um, but they're also the ones who are managing all this juicy information that's coming across their desks. And um, so if they're not getting paid a lot, are they getting paid outside of the uh, of the castle uh, for information that they can uh, funnel towards someone else? First, let's ask, is this third level of courtiers where the problems are coming from? One card. One, two, three, four, five, six of wands. I want to get a refresher on the six of wands uh, from my cheat sheet here, just to make sure news travel, empowerment. Um, so yeah, so this six of, of wands in that third level of courtier is telling me that this is where that influence of news and of power and encouragement is coming from. News, power, and encouragement from the third level of courtiers. Is it is there someone in this third level of courtiers who is who is definitely poisoning the well, so to speak? Let's do three cards. One, two, three. So this third level of courtiers is this where um, the poisoning of the well is coming from? And in here, we have the one, two, three, four, five of wands. And the five of wands is an abuse of power. Next card. Ah, so this is the king of wands. Okay, this is someone who is feeling that they are uh, making this thing happen. They are the king of getting these actions done in that third level of courtiers. And then this is the Knight of Wands. You can see this wand right here. You see the top of the, the, the stave, you could say the wand. And this is a knight, and he's raring to go. He's fighting for that action. So for me, this is telling me this abuse of power is coming from someone on that third level, because that's the level that we're talking about in this, in this drawing. Uh, that third level that feels very empowered and in charge uh, of, of making some actions happen and uh, and is actively uh, fighting uh, to get uh, those messages out. So for me, this is telling me that the third level of uh, courtiers uh, for King Charles is where some of this is coming from. So with that information, we're just going to take that to be the case because we have to trust the cards and, uh, and we'll do a six card draw to see if this level of leakage is going to be found and managed.
Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This third level of courtiers, where it looks like this leak is coming from, someone who's trying to uh, get some sort of satisfaction, whether it be money or acknowledgement or personal satisfaction. Uh, what can the cards tell us about that uh, leak point? First card, signifier. Ah, okay. So this uh, Ace of Swords is telling us this is a big feeling of, 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 of empowerment. Okay, this is truth, justice, rules, and law, and this is a great big offering of that. So this person is feeling that they're fighting for, for the right cause. The challenge to that, the challenge to that is this Knight of Cups. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a cup that he's holding up right here. You can just barely see the outline against this tapestry. So this is the Knight. He's the fighter of the Royal Court. So he's fighting uh, for the challenge to this um, big feeling of empowerment is um, is getting the emotional component of it right, I suppose. The basis of this whole thing, then, remember, third level of courtiers, someone in there is trying to um, manage this image. Ah, look at this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the eight of wands. Eight of wands, uh, actions, plans, forward movement, and eight of wands are a lot of things happening. So, yeah, the, the whole basis of this thing is that um, they have lots of, of information points to put out there. So that's the basis of it. They're trying to manage it. The past. Ah, so this is the... Let me be sure that I feel I know who this is. This is the emperor, as a matter of fact. You see, he's holding the the uh, orb. There's a name for that in the in in royal circles. I forget, but the orb and the scepter. So the past of this is okay. This is putting the king very much in the past of this, almost as an afterthought. The uh, sky of this thing, uh, the two of swords are short-term plans. Uh, not swords. The two of wands, in other words is a short-term plans. And you know what this says right here? It says, uh, I, I know I won't pronounce it correctly, Abondroit, but this is a good right, okay? So in the sky of this, it's feeling that they have every, uh, their intention is they feel they have, for these short-term little plans that they're making, is, is, is the right thing to do in their mind. Okay. And then the final outcome for this third level leak is going to be, look at that. So this is the king of uh, pentacles, as a matter, matter of fact. Okay, so this is coming to, 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 <laughs> to gain value in the eyes of the king. Maybe if not for themselves, then certainly for their boss, or the boss of their boss, or the king himself. Let's read it again. So what is happening on this third level leak uh, of courtiers? Uh, uh, okay, they feel um, uh, as if they're doing the right thing. Okay, again, uh, a good right. They feel as if they're doing the right thing. However, it's challenged by this this knight, this fighter uh, for, this, uh, for this compassion. Okay, the, the challenge is getting the compassion on the right side. Of course, they want it on the side of their king. The basis of this whole thing is all the issues that they're throwing out there, okay? So managing all of that stuff, um, and then the uh, past of it is actually, at some point, the king himself almost becomes an afterthought. And in the sky of this, uh, with his two of wands, or the short-term plans that they feel very entitled to be, to be uh, setting up, and then the final outcome being really looking to come to uh, under the under the um, into the vision uh, of the king uh, as having a lot of worth. So there's someone on that third level who feels as if they are doing the right thing. Um, they 
they're having a trouble managing the compassion uh, component of it. There's a lot of issues to choose from or to put out there. And so that's where some of that management issue comes in. The king has become at this point almost an afterthought. Um, the, the short term plans they're making, that's the very problem is that it's not a long term plan, it's a short term plan. And uh, it is solely for their own benefit, for their own value to be seen as being valuable in the eyes of their boss, their boss's boss, or the actual king himself. Interesting. So there's manipulation happening on the, deep down uh, in that uh, into that structure of the support for the king. I think I'm going to leave it right there. Let, let, let's do one more draw, and I'm going to. I want to know in this in this uh, last draw is will these this issue will this abuse be found and fixed in the reign of this king. Three cards. One, two, three. Will this abuse be found and fixed in the reign of King Charles? Or does it have to wait or will it never be corrected? First card, holding on to your value. Second card, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords is really um, uh, being embattled. And I do want to get another um, yeah, isolation, shame, depression, suffering, hopelessness. It's like nightmares. And the third card. So this is the, the, the problem that all this is causing. And then the final card for this is having to make a choice. Really doesn't give us an answer, but the truth, the justice, the rules, and the law, there's a point where a choice has to be made. Let's do one final card to see if it uh, clarifies for us whether this will be resolved in, under the reign of King Charles. This is an ace of wands. This is an ace of action. So I believe that some action will take place at least the beginning of that, ferreting out these, this issue during the reign of the current king. It may not be resolved, but the beginning of the answer to this, an this problem will happen during the reign of this king. That's what I got. Well, I hope you liked that reading. I hope it made sense to you, and I hope it put some perspective on the people behind the scenes who are kind of pulling the strings. Uh, let me know what you think. Put a, a mention in the comments. Tell me what you'd like me to read on, and I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so these are Pierpoint Morgan's Visconti Sforza Taraci deck. So uh, these come in a great box. I mean, you really feel like you've got something of value here. And they've got some interesting stuff inside. This is the uh, These are the uh, uh, rich folks who... Um, would have had these cards uh, created, uh, Bianca Visconti and uh, Francesco Sforza. So, there we go with that. We dump the cards out. There's a cool instruction book back here that is in full color with the cards and easy to read, so that's great. So these cards are from like around the late 1700s, I think. And when you spread them out, they're huge is, is one problem, but they're very, interesting to look at. I just don't know that they show up as well on um, the camera as they do in person, so I don't use them uh, on the camera that much, but they are very interesting. The court cards and the uh, Major Arcana are not too difficult to decipher, although they are difficult to decipher. This is the Fool, for instance. And, um, but the uh, Pip cards, the numbered cards, you know, you kind of kind of know your, your divination, and you know, these weren't originally used for divination, they were just used for playing a game. And uh, somehow, I think the gypsies got a hold of this stuff and decided to do something else with them. But uh, these will give you a run for your money. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now. make a big difference. Thank you.